and welcome back today we are looking at the x95 x95 um streaming device so um if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys do consider subscribing this is the x95h pro leave me a comment below if you guys have tested anything like this i'm actually kind of curious to see how well this guy is so yeah leave me a comment let me know make sure you guys are subscribed let's check this guy out see exactly what we get all right so here we go here's the device and yeah it actually looks pretty i like i i like the details on this stuff like the honeycombs and all this stuff the only company i know that does the honeycomb thing is obviously buzz tv but this thing is super nice looks like we might get a clock here you get two USB ports, one uh, TF card slot right there. I just, I, I like the, the aesthetics on this thing. I just, I, it's, it feels different and new. Um, you get two HDMIs. Looks like one HDMI in, one HDMI out. Looks like more companies are going to start doing this. For some reason, there is a button here. I don't I have no idea why. Power, optical, Ethernet, AV, and another USB port. So you get three of them. That's actually pretty good now as far as what's in the box you do get a manual you do get some hdmi cables you also get a remote it looks pretty good and the one thing i was actually very surprised about on this on this device is you get this thing which is awesome i i i, I for one i love mini keyboards so for them to include that that's actually pretty nice now again just just playing with this thing this thing feels so nice there you go turning it on you have all the different colors um, i'm guessing yeah so open it up here is the usb that will be plugged into the box and this is rechargeable they did have a, a micro usb cable right there that's where it's going to go not USB-C. um you got your pad here yeah it just, it just looks like a generic keyboard which is great so let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see how it works okay so here we go um make sure you are doing hdmi out because it's the box going out to your tv you're not going into the box the box is going out to view i've had some people that mix that around um the remote does not have batteries um so you do need two triple a's so we're going to plug that in. And there it is. Now, the one thing I do got to say about this remote, I don't I, uh, I I don't like when you move it and you get that click sound. It just seems like on the budget end, like on the low end. So here we go. All right. Um, yeah, but it's not bad. It's not bad. OK, you got YouTube, Hulu, all that stuff. The setup on this thing was just plug and play, which is great. Um, let's look at the specs and see exactly what we get okay so here we go um we are going to go to apps and i already got ida 64 i love this app this app tells you everything that you need to know about the device so device model says the google pixel 3 google pixel 3 that's new <laughs> i've never seen anything like that before but that's i'm, I'm kind of manufactured by google this isn't this is not manufactured by google <laughs> google does not make this box so this is very interesting um it is advertised i believe as 32 gigs you left with 23 gigs of internal storage um yeah this is that's kind of new normally with installed ram it just says four gigs of ram this one says four gigs lpddr4x interesting that's uh, it's interesting. I've never, I've never I've never seen anything like this before. It's pretty it's pretty unique. So here we go. All winner, all winners the chipset. So H13, H313 and H616. It is running a quad core ARM Cortex A53, which okay, it's not bad. Um display it's going to pull um ooh, 720. That's interesting. That is interesting. Technology OLED Mali G31. I've never seen that before. Um, my capture card reads at 1080p, but this one actually pulls it out at 720. Okay. Uh, it is using Android version 12. I wonder if this thing needs an update of some sort. Maybe there's an update for more things to be coming on this thing. So, okay, here is the codex. This is what's going to tell us everything that we need to know about this device. 
So, of course, um, you have, uh, it looks like C2 and OMX decoder, C2 and OMX for encoder. So, it's got quadruplets, but they're all going to be unique. So, you got LATM, 3GPP, AMR, your Flock, ALA, MLA, MPEG, Opus, raw and vorbis and it looks it looks like that's going to be pretty much it when it comes to audio so you should get some decent you should get some pretty good audio sounds so some pretty good surround sound stuff coming so here we go for video now you got hevc vp8 vp9 avc and again it looks like it's quadruplets because it's got your decoder and encoder some of these are from all winners some of these are from it looks like from google um h263 h264 which will give you your 4k um i am using my own hdmi cable by the way i am using my own audio quest so it's interesting that it's not reading it yeah the full resolutions on my capture card should be a minimum of 1080p nothing less so for this to pull it up to say like hey it's reading it as 720 that means the hdmi port is reading it as that so interesting um, i'm gonna leave this in the description below if you guys want this one um i will leave it there uh the remotes i'll go into detail in a future video but make sure you guys do um yeah make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss any of these videos with all that being said hope you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one